Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to visit one of the most uh, important uh, sites in Israel, Caesarea Caesarea. Caesarea Maritima, Caesarea by the sea. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the five or maybe six uh, sites that I show every group that I visit Caesarea with. Um, we're going to start right here in the ancient Roman theater. The city was built from scratch 2,000 years ago by King Herod the Great, Herod the Builder, and he named it Caesarea after his um, patron, the Roman Emperor Augustus. So everything we're going to see on our tour, most of the things are from the first century. They date back to uh, King Herod's time. And we're going to start here at this theater. You can see the theater itself is restored and it's even active. We have concerts here all through the summer. So it's not the original structure, but it's the same size, same location as Herod's ancient theater that he built here in the first century, King Herod. So I'm going to show you this um, map here of the Mediterranean Sea, just to get our bearings, just to get some orientation. Uh, you can see uh, there's the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it's uh, surrounded by three continents, so in the south would be Africa, in the north is Europe, and on the uh, eastern side is Asia. So three continents surround the Mediterranean Sea. We're right here. Caesarea. But the real reason the map is here is because of these pink dots. You can see them on the map. These are the are these are the origin of the building material that King Herod's engineers were were asked or forced or um, told to purchase so he can build his magnificent palaces here. So you can see there's like a blue marble, sorry, blue granite, and this is the pink granite, and here's red marble. And there's blue marble, white marble. So, and look how many over there. And here we enter the walls of the city. And now you can actually see Caesarea in its glory. It's a beautiful day today. Herod, King Herod's palace, he had many. This is the one that he built himself in Caesarea. Uh, what I'd like to show you here is this famous stone, this rock here. Uh, just to be fair, let me know, tell you that this stone is a replica, a copy. Uh, the original one is in the museum in Jerusalem. You can see that there's a few words and car engraved in it in the inscription. Uh, let me show you what they are. Tiberium, Pontius, Pilatus, Prefectus of Judea. Uh, five Latin words on a rock that was found right over there in the theater. And they're so important. Why are they so important? It's an archaeological evidence of the presence of Pontius Pilatus here in, the, in Israel, here in Judea, here in Caesarea. Let's continue our tour. Okay, here we are, the Hippodrome. Hippodrome, horse racing track. What's great about this is this is the original, I'm sitting on the original seats of the ancient Hippodrome. And uh, it's 250 meters long, has seats on one side, the other side is facing the Mediterranean. Yeah, so one of the reasons um, Herod the Great builds the city of Caesarea at this location is because he's in search for a place to build himself a brand new harbor, a new deep, deep water port. So he can control all the trade going in of Judea, out of Judea, and he chooses this location. The harbor itself, most of it is under the water. Uh, the building you can see with a flag, that is where the uh, lighthouse was. So somewhere around here in this location, that's where the port was built. Um, we're back in these um, rooms that are, are being built, uh, being uh, excavated. And we're searching for the location where it's possible St. Paul 
was tried in front of Festus. Uh, you need to open your Bibles at the book of Acts, chapter 23, to read uh, St. Paul's trial at Caesarea. Uh, it ends with the very famous words, uh, I appeal unto Caesar. I appeal unto Caesar. It's from Acts 25. And uh, that appeal was granted. And uh, St. Paul is allowed to board the ship from the Caesarea Harbor that we saw earlier and sail into the Mediterranean in that direction. These are the Roman baths. Marble. Okay, we're here at the uh, aqueduct of Caesarea. Uh, the aqueduct uh, is the way the city got its water, water supply uh, from springs up on the mountains and then the aqueduct, the water would be like, well, like flow along the aqueduct downhill all the way to the city of Caesarea. Uh, this is, would be the appropriate place for me to tell you about Cornelius just because he was a military man, uh, the, the, in the book of Acts, we re read about Cornelius, chapter 10. Uh, they say that he is a centurion. A centurion means that he is a commander of 100 men. So he's an officer. So why here? Uh, we know that in the Roman period, the military, the legionnaires, built these uh, infrastructures. Uh, they built uh, roads, uh, bridges, and aqueducts. So I'm guessing that if St. Peter came all the way from Jaffa to meet up with Cornelius, he might find him here uh, at the aqueduct in the middle of the building project. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our Caesarea tour. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, see you next time in our next tour. Take care. Shalom, shalom. See you in Israel. Bye-bye.